We start off with the president's pick for Korea's new prime minister, her sixth choice for the job since taking office. That's right, sixth. Uh, this nominee is the current Justice Minister Hwang Kyo-won. Our Park ji has more on his credentials and the responses from rival parties. The presidential office of Chang Wade said Hwang Kyo-won is the right person to lead its political reform and anti-corruption agenda. Senior presidential press secretary Kim Sang-woo said Hwang has a deep understanding of President Park's state affairs, and his quiet yet firm work ethic is considered appropriate for the job. The 58-year-old former chief prosecutor was appointed Minister of Justice in March 2013, shortly after the Park Geun-hye administration took office. Over the last two years, political watchers say he has demonstrated good communication with the presidential office and implemented Park administration's policy directions. In a press conference following the announcement, the justice minister said he felt a deep sense of responsibility. If I'm given the opportunity to serve as the prime minister, I will make every effort to help the nation overcome current difficulties and make a leap forward. More than anything, I will focus on revitalizing the economy and stabilizing the people's livelihoods in order to rehabilitate the country. The ruling Senate Party welcomed the nomination. We expect Huang to carry out political reforms and eradicate corruption based on rule of law, as Huang has President Park's full confidence and people's expectations are high. We hope he'll make the utmost effort to carry out his heavy responsibilities. The main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy offered some harsh criticism. The nomination is unacceptable. Korea needs a prime minister who can integrate this nation, fragmented by President Park's failure, to embrace opposing voices. Park is not a qualified nominee. He can't solve the problems that have piled up to create an economic crisis. Both parties now vow to examine Huang's fitness to be prime minister at an upcoming confirmation hearing. The nation's number two post has been empty for nearly a month after former Prime Minister Lee Wan Gu resigned over recent high-profile bribery allegations. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.